So basically, I guess the stage is set here, we just have to do this. I don't know, man. You just gave me a ride on your back, so obviously you don't hate me. Can we just work this out? Like, man and Pokemon? You know. Oh my god, my legs are all... Whoa, that's totally not the same sprite. It's like a cloud, you know, in Final Fantasy VII, and you're used to seeing his stubby, blocky sprite. But then when you get in the battle, all of a sudden he's all skinny and human-looking. Well, I don't think I can break through that. Especially not if he turns it into obsidian. Well, crap. Yeah. I don't think it's him anymore. Something has happened to my friend here. And it's not good. Uh oh. Oh my god. Are you serious with this right now? I have to do this. The sunlight turned. What did that say? Shit. Okay, basically, well, I've. I'll just demonstrate it. If you use a water move, this happens. Wait. The water type attack evaporated in the harsh sunlight, so you can't use water. Now, he's fire ground, from what I understand, so... Well, that's a problem. So there's not much I can do with this as well. What was that normal move again? Oh, that was like a... Maybe it wouldn't hurt to do that, though. I'll try it. Even though I'm sure he's probably mostly special attacks. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, this is good. I might as well use it as long as I have a water type out here that's not going to die in one hit. But otherwise, I have nothing else I can use on him here. I could use it again, maybe, but that's okay. Uh, like, wow, dude. Now that I look on this, I am a little worried. Cornholio, you're only level 31, but let's see. Let's just see what happens. Aside from you dying. Man, I feel bad. I basically just sent him to his death right there. I did. Sorry, Cornholio. Use next Pokemon. <laughs> Jeez, you say the word next like there's just a bunch of assembly line pieces being sent out to be destroyed. I'm actually a little concerned here. <laughs> um, oh, da -da. Let's get out of the arena for a little bit here. Man, and he's just gonna keep healing himself. Okay, there's something. Oh, uh, well, let's see now. Can we try? Maybe we should have do done that instead, I guess. Oh, it doesn't affect Valerie? Oh my god, Valerie, you're freaking amazing. You always have been. Haha. <laughs> Apparently aerial attacks are the way to do this. Do that again, one more time, and then we're gonna break out the... Actually, well, you know what I was thinking? It might not work, but... Maybe I could bring Tyler in long enough to get paralysis on him? I don't know, because I know electric doesn't work on the ground, so there's that. But maybe the status effect would? I'm guessing it probably wouldn't. Either way, let's give this a shot. I don't think he's down far enough, but... Let's at least give it one or two goes. Maybe, or, you, know, you know, I could just use the Master Ball, I suppose. Save us all a little bit of time here. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, you're not doing that. Oh no, the Pokemon broke free! That is not a Pokemon, you know what that is? It's a... Gigantic... Made... With a vacuum cleaner! Man, it's not even shaking once, man. I see that. If I try to take him down any further, I might kill him. 
Oh, on the other hand, if I don't do anything, he might just very well heal himself, which would be bad. I don't think I have anybody who could put him to sleep or anything, do I? I might. I just don't remember. I don't even think it's worth trying with Tyler, really, to be honest. I don't think... I don't think Doc Ock has... Can I, like, look at his moves? I don't know, guys. I mean, if he, he has that move that could heal himself. You know, and we're gonna waste a lot of time dealing with that. People are probably gonna hate me for this, but... It's, I mean, that's what they're there for. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I can't, I, I'm gonna make the decision now so that I don't have to think about it in the future. There. We'll save the trials for later. Just everything. I mean, Grudon's the big daddy of the game anyway. He's on the cover of the game. So, so I don't feel that bad using the Master Ball on this guy. And especially with that thing where he can heal himself, I mean, I don't want to have to deal with that, getting him back down again before I can start throwing balls. We'll end up sitting here for 15 minutes. Or longer. Oh, yeah, I can nickname him, huh? Well, let's see. Who's the ultimate master here? Good lord. Okay, so people probably aren't really going to be so crazy about this name, but... He's like the ultimate water hand. And if I told any more than that... I'd kind of be spoiling things, but he's Waterfalls' his brother, Churchill Falls. And let me tell you, he is a freaking badass, too. But, um, yeah. Like, the entire first season revolves around him and being missing, because he gets captured at the very beginning, and, like, water is, like, torn up about it and all, and... It's weird, because in the old days, when we first invented the Water Hands, like, Water was this really nice guy. He was, like, the perfect guy, you know. But, like, all the girls love him, and he knows karate, and he can kick anybody's ass and all that. But but in the new seasons that we wrote a few years back, he's a lot more complex. Like, he's angry about the loss of his brother, and, and he wants revenge on the Slimefoots and all that for capturing him all those years ago. Mommy, you wouldn't believe what I just did. Oh, it's kind of nice. Hey, Wally. Or Walty. No, Wally. Yeah, that's his name. Wally World. Wally, you know. Oh, everybody's so happy. Ding. Hooray, we just beat the game! No, <laughs> not really. Wait till they find out I didn't really destroy the source of it. I just captured it to use for myself. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna hate me. I'm gonna be the scourge of the world. Wow. I didn't know Masayanella was with the Team Magma. <laughs> Talk about saying a line way too late. Hello, boys! I'm back! So it's all over. We owe you great thanks. And hugs. Look above you. You think that's air you're breathing? Somehow it's so warm. But, we were trying to stop that, weren't we? <laughs> oh, it's as if the uncertainty and fear from moments ago never even existed. <laughs> My heart feels like it's been softly said to you. <laughs> the sea or the land, Pokemon or humanity. All this time, we've just been trying to grab onto happiness for one of them, even if it meant destroying the other. Look at how things have turned out. Now the world's got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. We've got to redo everything we've done from scratch. And get it right this time! What do you say, Maxi? Maxi Poo? Well, I suppose you may be right. Oh, wait, wait, he, he mispronounces things. Howie there! 
personally, in my case, some wrongs cannot be atonated for, no matter how you try to right them. And I have commented wrongs so great as to bring the holy world to its nest. It may be the tie. It may be too much to assume that I should deserve a the chance to start in I thingy over. Leader, without a doubt you have committed an offense that can never be forgiven. You have wronged only Team Magma, but all living things on the planet. And you've mispronounced so many words that I can possibly go back in my memory and replace so that I could understand what you were saying. But that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for the sins you've committed, even at the risk of your own life. Yeah, because atoning is a really risky thing to do. You know, you have to go into a church and talk to a preacher, and you never know if he's going to come out there and just finger you or something. Anyway. Damn, dude. That's a dedication right there. Thank you. Alright, enough of this gooey sh show of emotion. You know, someday we adults are going to have to hand this world off to this little scamp and the rest of her generation. The Millennials. Shit. I'll be right back. Okay, where was I? But what kind of world are we adults going to make? What kind of world do we want to pass to these Millennials? If we haven't figured out that, our well actually, she's not even a Millennial. She's more like a 2010 or... Well, not really, because she existed back in the early days. You know, Gen 3 would have been, what, 2002? I guess she is kind of a millennial. I don't know, whatever. Oh, the next level of power? Is it going to be mine? Have Groot on hold it. You should be able to control its primal reversion for at least a short period. So that's how it is. You know, instead of destroying the Death Star, let's just take it over and then hand the controls of it to an 8-year-old kid, or 10 or 12, I don't even know how old I am. I'm 12. Team Magma and Team Aqua are made up of people composely... Complo... I, give I give up. I can't even speak anymore. That guy's mispronunciations have messed me up for life. Okay. Revel in its newness, yeah. But for the pre- it, does, it definitely looks new in this game. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on an equal footing. Equal footing my ass, I got the high ground. Oh, the flute. Wait a second. The Eon Flute, huh? Huh. Okay, I've been wanting to see this for a while now. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. Preach, preach. Oh, the tree's got its leaves back! How nice! That's a fast-growing tree, considering we just did this, like, ten minutes ago. God, this is like... <laughs> it feels like I really did just beat the game. Good lord, man. Well, I guess the world is our oyster. Phew! After doing nothing, I sure am exhausted. You think I just took a plane ride or something? You know, we set out from Little Root as friends, but now I think it's time for me to tell you. Well, get on my level then. Well, that's good that you don't. Later, haha. -ha. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful. Wow, so is the cutscene done? 
Because if it is, then I imagine so is this video, but oh my gosh, I really have to check out this thing first. So I must, because I can't resist temptation. Bag. I should wait till the next video. Actually, I might just stop here for tonight. Maybe I should save this so... Oh, Cornholio, I've got to heal you up, sir. Wait a minute, i got to figure out where... It's probably a key item, actually. Oh, there we go. A flute that can be used to summon Latios or Latias, no matter where you are. Well, that was cool. Whoosh. Oh, oh my god, I turned him into the Jumbo Jet. I guess it only makes sense. No freaking way. They really did it. Oh man, this is so cool! Oh, I f I'm so mad at myself now for spoiling, because I am kind of was kind of spoiled on this, but... Man, I can't even imagine how much I would have freaked out if I didn't know about this. And I didn't know about this until just like a week ago. When I saw something about it in the walkthrough. You can just fly over the world like Secret of Mana. And you can see everything and where everything is and... Oh, this is too good. I can't quite make out if it's like an exact replica. Like, it looks like maybe... Well, I can't tell. Either way, I'm gonna find myself a place to save here. Let's see if I can remember which direction. Okay, so that must be Evergrande City down here. And then this would be... Yeah. That is amazing. I cannot believe they did that. I was so hoping they would someday. Man, they need to do that with all the Pokemon games now. It makes me wonder if X and Y had something like that. Most Deep Gym. Oh yeah, I know about that. Anyway, guys. Well. I believe that's going to end it for today. But thank you for joining me. And next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby, I guess we'll be heading to the 8th gym, huh? That's some crazy thing to think about. Can't believe we've come all this way. But now I can't think of anything more rewarding than sitting down. Because my legs need a break after that, boy, I tell you.